Tarpon. Oh my gosh, look, look at his teeth. He doesn't have any teeth. Oh, big boy, look at that guy. Yeah, it's definitely a tarpon, I can tell by that. Oh, his shell is like. Whoa, he's coming. What if he saw a mommy mommy he can use his back. Aww. Uh, he can use his back. Oh, Because he was hit by a boat. Holy crap. That is a big sting. Yeah. That is big. This guy. This guy's curious. Huge. Welcome everyone to Shed Aquarium over here at our Caribbean Reef. We're going to get started with our 10.30 live eating of the animals where you'll get to see a diver in the water. Yeah. Some of the smaller fish, as you see. 
Yeah. And you might have already noticed our green sea turtle nickel. Anybody see a nickel? Yeah. She's swimming right in the center right now. Now, Nickel has one of the most dramatic stories of any animal in your imaginary world. You see, once upon a time, Nickel was uh, uh, swimming along with all the boats on Florida. When suddenly, without warning, she was struck with another water bottle. Now, the injury was severe, and that's why Nickel's backside always looks up like that. Luckily, she was found in time and nursed back to health. And Due to the severity of her injuries, we may never return back to the wild. She has found a pretty good home if you're an Look at that right now. Now we'd like to tell them a little story because it is an important reminder that when we're in the world's waters, we are the guests in the home of all kinds of sea life. We want you to have some real great lettuce in there as well. Oh, wow. Now, the story of how Nicole got her name is also pretty incredible. So, when she first got to San Aquarius, she was given a full veterinary exam. Dirty pixie did not knock him lots of nickels from. He used the little table tool to remove the object. And I guess it went out. Got a 1975 nickel. Her name. Her story is amazing, but it's not at all cool. She doesn't want to use security here today. It's not the right time to be loud or amazing. It's crazy how we can hear it. It's crazy how we can hear it. What's that? It's crazy how you can hear with the microphone. This other guy is. He's walking on and talking on too. Oh, look at that right there. Oh. Yeah. 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 Y
It's like we just see him get beaten by a tarpon. <laughs> you guys have any questions? No questions? Questions over there? We're just. Uh, we're just. Uh, yeah, you had a question? Yeah. 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 Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. I thought they were talking about. Some of the stingrays don't have a tail. Yeah, we were just talking about that. So only one of our stingrays does have a tail. And it's just because when it was very young, it had its tail bitten off by a territory of fish. So it grew up with half a tail. But it's totally fine. You know, you can do everything that a stingray needs to do without a tail. Do you have a question? Why is there a sea diver in there? Yeah, so Ty is one of our volunteer divers, and we do four feedings a day. And the reason why we don't just throw food at the top of the habitat, like you might do in a fish tank at home, is that all of our base and different levels in the habitat need to get fed and make sure that they're getting enough food. So we have to send a diver in there to feed yeah, specific I saw that. I specific that. areas of the habitat. Why doesn't the shark eat Ty or diver? Well, look at how small that shark is in comparison to time. Who wouldn't be able to eat it? And also the reason why sharks don't eat people is there are no sharks that will feed on people naturally. Sharks don't like the way people think. Why don't the stingrays sting you? Well, the reason why the stingrays don't sting time or die is because Stingrays are very gentle animals, and they only use their stingers defensively if they feel like there's something stepping down on top of them. But as long as the tie doesn't put a bunch of pressure down on the back of the stinger, it would be. Holding that over the railing. Oh, right? okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't want to drop it either. <laughs> That is crazy. Probably about 20 feet deep. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe this. The lake out there too. Yeah. Where should we sit down? Oh. Last time they were over there. Um. Video. Huh? Video, right? Yep. Whoa. <laughs> the kids in the way. <laughs> Is that fine? I think that's the blue girl's name.
Oh, look at him rubbing. It's a bunch of amber jacks. bunch of amber jacks. Those are one of those spider crab things. Massive. Oh, there's another one right here. These flounders are awesome. Those guys are so weird. Yeah, they're flounders. Oh, I wish I had made it before like this. We'll just keep it that way. Hey, buddy. You see him going. They are so big. Oh, God. Giant lobster over there. Oh, my God. The bubble guy. Hey, buddy. What? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. Isn't that weird? There's dev cuttlefish over here. European cuttlefish. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Small, but it's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty big, actually. How about you?